Hey seventh graders, I just want to give you some information that has just come through to us. Um, so last night there was a board meeting and our district leaders have been meeting and discussing uh, how to best get the rest of the information out to you guys for after spring break. And after doing some surveys to parents, they figured out that not 100% of everyone has internet accessibility. So what we're doing is not IXL anymore. We're not doing computer work. We're going to be doing packets again. I don't know how those are going to get distributed to you through the mail or if there's going to be a time for you to come pick them up. I don't know that yet, but I'll get that out to you as soon as I do know. But what I can tell you today is that you're going to get um, after spring break, so starting May 20th, you're gonna get a packet that has all of your core subjects and maybe even some of your electives. So for sure we'll have science, social studies, math, and English. And it'll be enough work to potentially take you through the rest of the year. Now, I know right now we are uh, slated to go back to school on May the 4th, but that could change and it could be extended. And the worst case scenario is, is that we're out the rest of the year. So we have prepared for that and we have a packet for you. So you're going to be getting one seventh grade packet and in your seventh grade packet, there's going to be some regular seventh grade math work. And then there's also going to be some in that regular seventh grade math. You need to complete that. Okay. That's real important. So you're going to have to do the regular seventh grade math stuff. That's going to be really easy for you to do. And then you're also going to need to do, there's going to be a supplement in there that's going to look like this. And it's the algebra pre-algebra pre-algebra seventh grade pre-algebra supplement and it says you know if you're not in my pre-algebra class then you do you skip this packet but that's not applying to you guys because you are my students and you do have to do this part too so there are two more concepts that I want to teach you since we have time right now to make sure that you are going into algebra the best possible scenario okay so those two things are interest and so it has to do with personal finances and then Pythagorean theorem which is going to be beneficial for you in geometry when you take that in high school as well. So really want to make sure you got that right now. Um, but don't worry about, you know, all this new stuff and I'm not going to be there. We're going to break it down into small pieces and it's not going to be a lot that you have to do. So go ahead and do the seventh grade regular math stuff that you're assigned in the packet. Go follow that schedule. You'll fill in your answers on the answer document in the packet. You can submit it two ways either by taking a picture of the answer document and sending it to me on email, or on May 11th, I will have a form for you in Google Classroom and you can send me that form, okay? It's just an, so that I get the answers from you. We are not going to require you to turn these packets in personally because we don't, we wanna risk, we don't wanna risk contamination or exchanging germs and spreading the virus. So. You will, let's reiterate this, okay? You will have to do the regular seventh grade math packet, yes, and this little supplement that's gonna have some new stuff on it. But guess what? I'm gonna be doing some um, flip classroom videos again. So I'll be doing one every Monday that'll be posted that's gonna help you with the lessons that you're slated to learn that week in our supplement. And there's gonna be an easy schedule that's gonna be easy for you to follow. And something else that we've done as a school is we are taking it and we have different days for you to be working on certain subjects. So Monday, I think is your ELA day. So we want to work you to work ELA only on Mondays. And then Tuesdays are your math days. So on Tuesdays is when I want you to do your math. So like, let's break it down and do it very simply. Um, so just math on Tuesdays. So I'm just going to be zooming with you on Tuesdays, no other day, just Tuesdays. But there are two, there's an extra thing that we're giving you. There's an extra thing that we're giving you. Sorry, my son is videoing. Um, there's an extra thing that we're giving you uh, for some extra help if you need it in math. And that's going to be Tuesdays at 10 a.m. I'm just going to tell you that in the packet you're going to get. There's going to be a, a seventh grade wide, grade wide uh, math tutorial session on Zoom. You can tune in for that if you want. But I really, really want you to make it a priority to Zoom with me on Tuesdays. And that's going to be now Tuesday afternoons at 2 o'clock. So mark that in your calendars every Tuesday after spring break till the end of the school year. Tuesdays, 2 o'clock with Miss Hogg. And that's where we're going to get some questions answered on any of the work that you have in the supplement packet. Before we leave, I do want to do some, some special birthday shout outs. I got my birthday book from the school. So I want to go through some birthdays that we have may have missed. Um, 
while we've been out. And the first one I want to go through is in March. Let's see, we had March 28th. We had Andrew Perks. Happy birthday, Andrew. Hope you had a great day. Um, I want to make sure there's no other March birthdays. Uh, March 22nd was Ryder Primo's birthday. Happy birthday, Ryder. Then in April, um, shout out on the 17th to Claire Smith and Isabel Bamert. Their birthdays are the same day, so I'm not sure who's older. Maybe y'all know. And then William Wooters on April 23rd. So happy birthday to you, Will. Hope that you have a great day. Uh, we also had last week was Mia Nishida's birthday on May the 5th. Mia, I hope you had a great day. And then we're going into Mar uh, May. Let's see. May, we have uh, several birthdays. May 1st is Corbin Guidry's birthday. Happy birthday, Corbin. And on May 3rd is Nicole Lopez's birthday. Happy birthday, Nicole, on May 3rd. And then towards the end of May, we end May with Sophie Frost's birthday. I uh, can't tell if that's on May 25th or May 31st. So whichever one it is, Sophie, happy birthday to you and Sam. And then on May 30th is Jordan Murray's birthday. So I think that is all the birthdays for the year. But guys, I love you and I hope that you're staying safe. Remember, let's not camp out in that state of fear. Um, especially when it comes to things you can't control, which is this virus. Um, all that you can control is your attitude to it. So let's kick fear to the curb and embrace the things that we can control, which is our attitude and what we're, uh, what we're good at and um, helping others who are in need the best way that we can. So have a great weekend. Happy Easter, or should I say hoppy Easter, and I'll talk to you later.